Hello Cancers, welcome to your November 2015th tarot reading. I apologize for the delay in getting this video out to you and I know that you know we are halfway through the first week of uh, November already so I apologize once again. I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween and I also hope you enjoy your um, Thanksgiving as well that's coming up in the US for those of you who are celebrating. I am also using a different deck of cards this time, so the interpretation is not uh, based on the traditional Rider Waite deck, it's also based on, you know, it's an intuitive reading. So I tend to read the cards in relation to one another, so once the cards are laid out, it will take me a moment to get used to these, these new cards and to um, see how the energies interplay with one another before I can start the reading, so just bear with me, okay? So that one just popped out. We have the chariot card in the upright position. Okay, well, these cards are very slippery. They're new, so Let's see. Okay, so we have the chariot, the page of cups, the king of cups, the two of wands, the sun, temperance. Three of Wands, the Tower, Five of Swords, and the Six of Swords. I'm going to pull out another card here with the Tower. Right, so let's go through this reading. So the first thing is the Chariot. Um, the Chariot is a card of travel. It is a card of success. It is also representative of um, pulling the two disparate energies within ourselves in order to have self-mastery over ourselves, to control our emotions, to redirect our life force in a way that is conducive for our higher growth and our higher purpose. Okay, this is a very, very amazing card to get, especially early on in the spread. Um, for those of you who are familiar with my monthly readings, the first card out of the spread is usually residual energy coming through from the end of the previous month. So this is something that is coming through in October. It is something that you've always wanted and uh, for some reason you had to do some inner work on yourself in order to re-approach it or in order to get the outcome that you want. And as a result of it, all that inner work, all that self-reflection, all that discipline that you've um, put yourself under is starting to pay off, okay? So for a lot of you, it might have been just, you know, on the financial front, working very diligently, taking care of um, practical responsibilities in order for you to feel emotionally stable, financially stable even, to achieve the success or to achieve, you know, that sense of inner peace and stability that allows you to move forward with your life. A lot of this has come in in October and you're still riding high. You're still on that, that wave and you're, you're in a very good place, okay? Um, with it, I do feel that um, some sacrifices, you know, like short-term sacrifices had to be made in order to achieve long-term stability. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse position. So pages are very young people who might not um, understand a lot about, you know, delay gratification. So what I mean by this is it's sort of like, you know, rather than... Um, you're basically maturing from a page energy to a king energy where you are very in control of your emotions. You are very um, fixated on the long-term prize rather than short-term gains. So it can be on the financial front where you are sacrificing, um, you know, like... Um, frivolous spending in order for you to accumulate, in order for you to have that financial base, to feel secure, and to have the money to do what you want in life, okay? So foregoing short-term pleasures for long-term success, long-term stability, long-term gains. This is a very, very potent energy. And this is what I mean by, you know, pulling all these desires and um, sifting through to see what is what is like um, necessary in order to direct your life in the way that is that that allows 
success. Okay, so you're in a very, very good place the first two weeks of November. I do feel a little bit of struggle coming through with another person coming in at the end of the month. But it's nothing that you can't overcome. And I do feel a lot of travel as well. For those of you who've been shifting back and forth, travel is coming through and then traveling away or traveling back and then traveling um, away from a situation and or from a home environment. So once again, it is Thanksgiving. So a lot of you might have just you know started your travels early, making the rounds to see people, feeling good, celebrating and things like that. I do feel celebrations coming through. Um, seeing a lot of people that bring you a lot of emotional stability as well. And what I'm sensing as well is by the end of the month, you possibly could be facing another bout of travel with the Six of Swords here, but you're going towards a very good place, so not to worry, okay? It's, um, it's a very beautiful, um, almost like coming full circle type of energy. So it feels to me like this is very cyclical. It's um, happening, and then you're... you're getting a lot of success and then there's the sun energy which corroborates the same theme so it's kind of like the top row is echoing the images of the second row so the first two weeks and the second two weeks are very similar thematically so let's go through the spread here um for a lot of you um i feel that you might be on a break we have the king of cups here with the temperance card and this is um, socializing as well, opportunities to meet with friends, to engage with people in a very casual, lighthearted manner, or also in, in a very emotionally rooted manner where you're feeling quite good about yourself. So you are connecting, reconnecting with old friends, and you're um, exchanging stories. And I do feel it's in a very social environment. We have the three of wands here, which indicate work. So it's in the reverse position. So some plans or something that you're hoping to launch, we have both the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands, meaning there is a project or something that is on hiatus. And as a result of it, you might have more time for you to do, you know, leisure activities. Um, I feel that plans that are stalled or that are put on hiatus, it's for a good reason. It's not something that you're purposely doing or it's not something that is imposed upon upon you from from the external environment in that I feel that you're deliberate about putting this plan on hiatus mainly because you've got the groundwork laid out with the two of pentacles and you're escalating to a three of pentacles so this is definitely something that you chose to leave and come back to at a later date okay just make sure you get everything wrapped up by this month and don't wait too long because I do feel you know the plans are taking roots and they're sprouting so you want to be I guess uh, timing is going to be important for you by the end of this month, especially by like the 23rd, I'm sensing, is when you need to come back to this and resolve this issue, okay? But you're going to be in a very good place, and as a water sign, you have a very intuitive sense of knowing when timing is right. So I feel that you will know when, when it's, it's good to come back to this project, okay? And I feel like you a lot of you might be dabbling in multiple projects. You're keeping yourself busy. You're expanding your social base as well. So I do feel a very beautiful celebratory energy, very laid back energy as well. Just make sure you don't stay in that spot for too long, get too comfortable, over drink, overindulge, and things like that, okay? Uh, what's coming in? After that is the Two of Wands. It's in the reverse position next to the Five of um, Swords. The Five of Swords indicates to me there is a plan. There is a proposal here. Someone is giving you an opportunity for work. And I do feel it is um, for work. Let's talk about the work first. And we can talk about romance in a little bit. So someone is offering you a proposal for work. And you don't entirely trust it. So I do feel this person might not have, um, we have the Five of Swords, which is usually indicative of um, a victory at where, no, it's like an empty victory, no one really wins. So there is somebody who has that type of behavior or who exhibits that type of behavior where they um, they swoop in. It is, it's not a reflection on their character as a person, but they might be in a shady work environment where their job description literally is that they swoop in when the opposition or when the other side is kind of decimated and then they, they pick up the spoils of war. I don't feel they're a thief, but it could be a situation where you, know, you flip houses for a living. 
and um, houses that are in that condition are user, usually like foreclosures. So it's not a good situation because, you know, previous tenants have to be evicted um, before the person can come in, purchase the house and flip the house. So that's just an example. But the person that you're associating with or whoever it is that is offering you this proposal to work with them, to partner up with them, I feel... They're in that kind of work environment and you're trying to decide whether or not you want to dabble in it because you feel as if financially you, you seem okay. You, you seem like you're in a good spot. I don't have a single pentacles card, but I do have success cards, which indicates to me financially you're in a good place. So you feel that, you know, maybe this isn't the right card um, job for me because it's not really in alignment with, um, you know, my moral compass my field of interest because I don't want to be the one that um, that has to like do the cleanup after a messy situation so you might just not want to do that anymore okay so you might have this proposal but you're kind of like on the edge well straddling whether or not you want to continue in this line of work um, I do feel as well there is definitely other work opportunities that will be coming through for you that are more in alignment with your path and your own personal interests, okay? We have the Sun card here. And in this deck, it is a card about union. So for a lot of you, if you've been working very, very hard and um, you haven't had an opportunity to date, there's definitely um, dateable people around you and you're going to encounter one of them that, that actually makes you feel very, very good. So I'm sensing a very strong fire energy. So this can be, you know, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm, I'm sensing a very strong, vibrant energy. Somebody that will snap you out of your funk. Somebody that you meet in a social setting and then you just automatically click with. So I do feel that all the inner work that you've done for yourself to rein in, you know, your feelings and the disparate energies, the inner conflict, all of the time that you took out to introspect to you know collect yourself it's starting to pay off because you're you're coming into a relationship feeling very whole so new people that are coming through especially for those that have been single that have been taken up that have taken a lot of time to focus on work to achieve worldly success to work on yourself to get yourself in a place where you're feeling emotionally very very good you are going to project that aura in the dating front and you're going to feel quite good about yourself. Additionally, I have the temperance card. I have three cards that are cup energies. So I just want you to be careful about overindulging in wine, you know, spirits, um, beer and things like that. Just um, overindulging in drinking. So just be careful about that. It's not coming in very strongly, but I do feel that it can play out in that way, okay? So it, it can be a, a situation where you have a job interview and you're just so excited about getting this job interview. You go out and celebrate and then you are hungover and you miss the job interview. So it can be one of those missed opportunities as a result of overindulgence, just be careful about that. I don't have the devil card, which indicates severe overindulgence. But I do feel that it can, um, if it's not checked early on, it can interfere in other ways down the line, okay? So the temperance card, once again, is a, a situation of... It's balance and control. So there's definitely a fine line between reserving time for yourself to work on your resources as well as reserving time for your partner so this is there's a fine line here that you have to basically straddle or you have to like manage and you're going to do be able to do that successfully um, for those of you who are in a relationship as well with either um, fire sign fire sign we have water sign fire sign and also an air sign this air, th an air sign is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So I saw the tower card in the reverse position and I'm, I pulled out a card just to see who it pertains to or what it pertains to and this air sign person showed up. So if you are in a relationship with an air sign, if you are caring for an, um, a child that might be of an air element, there's definitely some concerns regarding an air sign that you are going to have to, I guess, uh, resolve sometime for this month, okay? Once again, I do feel that there is something, um, either a work project or a relationship or like, you know, that new sense of um, passion, revival and passion, revival in your life 
that you are procrastinating on resolving. So the 23rd would be the ideal date to do it. I don't know why, but that, that day is popping up. It would be a good time for you to do this and to resolve this situation so that you both can get clarity. Because as it stands, this relationship is on rocky foundation. Both parties know it, and it's inevitable that you know it's not go it, that it's going to fall apart. So you want to do some damage control. You want to do some maintenance, and you want to figure out what direction you want to pursue with this air sign, especially if it's a child. They might need your attention. Um, if it's a love romantic partner. I feel that some type of a romantic partner, um, some type of a romantic situation, work project, needs to be redefined or reestablished because the status quo is not working, okay? And this is a difficult choice, and you, you've been procrastinating on making this difficult decision. So this is the month for you to resolve this issue so that the other person can move on and that you can have the mental clarity to move on as well. Um, I do feel that for those of you involved with an air sign, there might be, you know, travel opportunities coming back to see him or her and then traveling away. So if there is an element of long distance associated with this, I do feel that this is a, um, a it's, it's something that is affecting the relationship and it's something that you need to resolve, okay? So I do have the tower, which is a major arcana card. It also indicates, you know, the foundation. The foundation is lacking in something. So you have a choice here. You can rebuild it on better foundation if there is discussion that needs to be had between both parties. Or you can decide for yourself, you know, maybe this is too great of a cost for me to rebuild and then you can let the other person move on to live their life, okay? But you can't procrastinate on this decision and it is a decision that needs to be made by the 23rd. So sort things out, you know, take all the time you need in order to socialize, have fun uh, or do whatever you feel that needs to be done. But then you have to come back and give this person an answer, Give this person something definite so that he or she and you yourself needs to do this out of courtesy but also just for yourself so that you know where you stand and then both parties are on the same page if you both decide to leave or if you both decide to stay and work at this project, okay? So for a lot of you, um, if you are single and on the dating front, I feel a lot of romantic interest. We have fire sign a lot of people showing interest. We definitely have a fire sign and a water sign showing romantic interest. This air sign is a little bit um, ambiguous. So I feel that it could be a work partnership or it could be a love interest. But either way, you are showing up here as the Page of Cups and also as the King of Cups, which indicates to me possibly you are the one reaching out. And they might not be completely has, um, receptive it seems as if they're they're moving on with their life. There's a lot of movement happening with this person. We have a lot of sword energies with the six of swords. We have the tower, and then this person is overlaying all of it. So I do feel that um, there's a lot of movement happening in their lives, but you're kind of like at a standstill. So right now, it's a good time for you to you know take some time off to think about what it is that you really want to achieve with this person and to move forward. If it's not going to work, there are other people out there that are interested in you. For those of you who are in established relationships, I definitely feel the same energy coming through. Um, if things have been going really, really well, and um, you feel as if you know this is a situation where whatever hasn't been what whatever you know communication problems whatever um you've been dealing with with like a stable romantic partner um that hasn't worked out too well there's definitely a moment of you know let's decide on what we can do and i do feel for a lot of you there is going to be separation happening where you leave one another in a very cordial in a very civil manner so i don't feel you know full-blown fights and, you know, kicking, screaming, door slamming. I don't sense any of that because I do feel that it is a very quiet, quiet month, okay? So it, it comes in with a lot of success, with a lot of, like, um, hoof beats and just um, a lot of momentum, but it mellows out. It does mellow out by the end of this month, and you're going to be in a good place. Um, for those of you who have been in troublesome relationships, you might be transitioning from, like, a water sign, another Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio 
you might be socially dating and then you end up with, you know, somebody that actually turns your head, which is um, an air sign. So, you know, there's like transitions between relationship partners and you feel like, oh, I'm not jiving with this person. So let me move on to the next. And there's possibly a fire sign that makes you feel quite good makes you feel really really good they're um they bring with them a lot of energy and a lot of momentum a lot of uh dynamism to the relationship but um you feel like something might be missing with a fire sign so as a result of it you end up with the end of the month with an air sign and you know this can be somebody who's quite exciting who's quite worldly and they've got a lot on their plate too so if you want a no strings attached type of relationship that's what's coming through for you so once again uh, going back to the work front and finances I don't feel I don't feel there are going to be um, financial issues because we have the chariot and the sun and also temperance so I feel that um, you have a pretty good reign on your spending or at least you know money is not going to be um, an issue this month and no news is always good news in my book especially when it comes to finances with love not so much but with finances especially um, I also feel that for a lot of you you might just be working really hard in September October you're taking a little bit of a break new projects are presenting themselves and you're kind of like going through possibly from the 10th the 10th to the 20th thinking about what project to take up next okay so that's pretty much most of your month here deciding on what you want to do deciding on who it is that you want to rebuild things or to part ways with so there's a lot of like decisions here a lot of you might be in management position where if you're going through a downsizing for example you're kind of like sifting through the ledger and seeing who has been doing their work very diligently and then you're trying to decide who should you should keep and who you should let go so it's a really good energy where you are the one making decisions so just make sure you make the decisions absolutely by the 23rd that would be my advice okay and as for this air sign, decide on what you want to do. But I do feel a very lighthearted energy coming through. And you're going to be in a good uh, stead, okay? So let me give this a glance over and see what's going to happen here. See if there's anything I've left out. So what I'm going to do actually is um, we are ending here with the Six of Swords. And I do want to see where you're sailing off to. So you are selling off to here the strength card. It's in the reverse position. So um, what I'm sensing here is that a lot of you are thinking about a new major, major shift transition in your life. And you have been purposely delaying this next step. You're delaying the decision to do so. Okay. And it's out of fear. It's out of, um, you know, lack of self-confidence. But I do feel you're in a good position here. But it, it's done out of fear. So you're delaying this, you're delaying it, and you're, you're not really sure what you want to do. There might be some health issues coming through with the strength card in reverse, as well as with the tower. I definitely feel some health scare, some health issues coming through. Um, don't fear it. You're going to be okay. You're going to be well protected, okay? Because I do sense with temperance and the chariot, there might be some medication. There might be... Um, possibly dosages in medicine so there could be you know just uh, health situations that has you very worried and you don't know what you want to do and as a result of it you do want somebody by your side so you might not scrap a relationship mainly because you want that emotional support and as long as you're clear about this to your partner it shouldn't be a problem but I do feel that if there are health issues they are going to resolve themselves or at least you are going to be able to get your mind off things for the first three weeks but decisions need to be made by the 23rd and try to just not um, don't be afraid to make this decision it will you are being protected here we have an angel in the temperance card so this is divine protection so don't worry about it too much okay so cancers I do hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving spend some time with your loved ones and your family but, um, you know, spend some time on yourself and to reflect on what it is that you really want and need and who it is that you want by your side, okay? Because I do feel a little bit of a complacency in this spread. 
that things are going okay and you, you, you want them to stay the way they are. You don't want any changes, any new things. But new things should not be fear or dreaded. New things bring about opportunities. So don't be afraid, all right? Take care of yourself. If you'd like a private reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. I will talk to you soon. And if for those who are going through health issues, um, things will be okay. So take care of yourself.